Thank you, Kiran. Thank you to Mr. Datta, Mr. Bhattacharya, Principal Secretary of uh, Industry and IT, Government of Telangana, Shri Jayesh Ranjan, to all the family members of uh, Bosch Global who are gathered here uh, to commemorate this wonderful event of uh, opening a new facility in Hyderabad. My compliments to the entire family of Bosch Global and I congratulate the management of Bosch on choosing Hyderabad, on choosing Telangana for your expanded center. Back in February, I think when we had uh, the initial conversation, when Bosch had announced that they are setting up a center in Hyderabad, Datta had mentioned that uh, he would be employing about 3,000 people. I just was checking with him. I was asking him uh, as to how many people have been recruited. He's mentioned that uh, more than 1,400 have already been recruited, but it looks like uh, it is going to be more than 3,000. So good news to many more <laughs> youngsters in Hyderabad. And I do hope, because I've seen this enough now, I, I've seen this enough times, that you know when a large multinational, uh, be it a European company or even a, an American company, or uh, for that matter, any, any uh, overseas company which comes to Hyderabad, which comes to Telangana, initially the estimates are very conservative. But it, uh, happen, it, it happens every single time. That, you know, when you wanted to hire 1,000 people, you end up hiring 2,000 because the talent, the energy, the place really grows on you and the talent and abundance of uh, uh, young, inspiring innovators is something that uh, everybody has been benefiting from. And I do believe that Bosch also will grow and will grow much bigger than was anticipated. And Telangana, as you all know, ha is a new state, is a young state. It's the youngest state in India. But it has become a very attractive destination for investments for a variety of, uh, uh, you know, sectors, companies in variety of sectors, including automobile technologies as well. Now, in the last uh, eight, eight and a half years, we've had some marquee names in technology as well, um, you know, set up shop in Telangana and Hyderabad primarily. We've had uh, ZF, another German company. We have, we've had uh, Fisker, an another large EV company from the US, Stellantis, Hyundai, Billity Electric, and also existing players who already had a base in Hyderabad also have expanded significantly, including Qualcomm, Amazon, Google, Uber, Microsoft, Apple, etc. All of their second largest campuses outside of their headquarters in the US are located today in Hyderabad. We also, we also have uh, several homegrown companies, Indian companies like Mahindra, MRF, Electra, Maitra, Race Energy, all of their uh, new centers have also come up in the last seven, eight years. Now, Hyderabad is being chosen. Hyderabad and Telangana have become extremely attractive for a variety of reasons. Primarily, it's one Indian city which does not compromise when it comes to building infrastructure, which keeps up with the pace of growth. That is something that uh, uh, truly is a testament to our Honorable Chief Minister's commitment to the growth of this city to the uh, uh, encouragement he gives us to the Municipal and Urban Development Department to ensure that we continue to keep up pace with the growth we've been having. This city, in fact, I keep saying this uh, wherever I go, this city is neither north of India or south of India. We are, in fact, where the north of India meets the south of India. We are the city where, uh, we are the, city where the paratha meets the dosa. We are the city where, uh, you know, data sciences meets life sciences. We are the city where biology meets technology. We are the city where, I would say, mangoverse meets metaverse. That's Hyderabad for you in a way, in a nutshell, if I have to put it. The reason, the reason why I say this is because right behind you, if you look, uh, look back, you'd see a large campus of Satwa. In fact, uh, Novartis, uh, you know, is a large pharmaceutical company, again, a European company. They had moved, uh, you know, a while back, almost a decade back, with about 400 employees initially. They were concerned, they were worried as to how they would grow in Hyderabad. But let me tell you, Mr. Bhattacharya and also Mr. Datta, today Novartis, in fact, has more than 9,000 people working out of that campus that you see there. And in fact, it's their second largest campus outside of their headquarters in Basel. And what's even more impressive and what's even more important is these 9,000 youngsters come from various parts of India and various parts of the world as well. And they've all made Hyderabad their home. And that is a testament that is what, you know, uh, that is a demonstrative uh, uh, experience of what Hyderabad can do once you set foot here. 
highest growth you know in terms of uh, uh, a state and how well telangana has grown we have grown really well in fact more than 15.2% cagr over the last 7 years the quality of living is better progressive government governance has led to our it exports you know growing from 57000 crores in 2014-15 to about 1,83,000 crores in the last fiscal. So that goes to show you that the city is growing. And last year, what's even more impressive is, you know, people talk of Bangalore, people talk of other technology hubs in India. But what's even more impressive is, out of the 450,000 new jobs created last year in the IT sector in India, 150,000 were created in Hyderabad alone. So one third of the new jobs that were created, thanks largely to you know, companies like Bosch and others who have chosen Hyderabad. Of course, you know, with uh, the changing automobiles and how automobile now is not viewed as, as, as a traditional uh, you know, vehicle anymore, I think uh, the new age vehicles, sustainable mobility being the operative word, the new age vehicle, new age automobile is nothing but a computer on four wheels. So therefore, I think technology and innovation in this space is something that every company has been looking forward to. Cars have, be, have more software than hardware now, leading to softwareization of the cars. Now, software drivers such as CAN, Ethernet sensors, such as LiDAR, etc., have become an integral part with autonomous cars becoming a reality. Semiconductor companies like Micron and Qualcomm are going big on automotive R&D through focus on connected devices, RTOs and vehicle communications as well. Now, Bosch, we all know, offers leading solutions in AI, OT, and has a strong focus on automotive engineering R&D. Though the new one and a half lakh square foot facility providing employment to 3,000 plus, like I mentioned, Bosch, I believe, will continue to strengthen its leadership in automotive engineering domains, uh, such as safety, e-mobility, digital cockpit solutions, cross-domain computing, etc. Telangana is also planning to set up a new mobility hub, a Telangana mobility valley, which, again, will be uh, ideally suited for more and more entities in this space to come and partner with us. This Telangana mobility will have five key zones. An engineering zone, housing state-of-the-art, shared testing labs providing EV and battery testing, emerging technologies such as CAV and fuel cell testing, India's first CAV proving, ground, uh, CAV proving grounds along with comprehensive set of conventional proving grounds and testing labs. The second zone would be a manufacturing zone with investments from EV OEMs, component suppliers, battery manufacturers and recyclers. You may have heard of the news recently, one of the leading Indian uh, battery makers, Amar Raja, has also chosen to invest in Telangana, in Mehboob Nagar, with an investment of 9,500 crores, setting up a new state-of-the-art lithium-ion battery facility. The Telangana Mobility Valley will also have an innovation zone providing incubating facilities for startups, co-working spaces also. We also will have a talent zone where centers of excellence in new mobility related domains will be created. ITI upgradation to upskill talent for new mobility will also be done. Experience zone to showcase the best of the products to the world will also be done. In fact, as you may have uh, learned from newspapers and televisions or Twitters, wherever you get your news from these days, Hyderabad will be the first Indian city to be hosting a Formula E in February second week and I look forward. I look forward to this as well because I believe sustainable mobility is the future. And so we also do have a plan to conduct an EV week, Hyderabad EV week and an EV summit every year along with the Formula E race to celebrate sustainable mobility. As part of the Telangana Mobility Valley initiatives, Bosch is working with BITS Hyderabad to create a center of excellence for creating the necessary engineering talent. The center of excellence focused on automotive cybersecurity. This is India's first center of excellence in automotive cybersecurity, which will go a long way in improving design thinking and innovation amongst the engineers. Key topics such as automotive cyber systems, diagnostics and interfaces, automotive communication systems, etc., also will be worked upon. Currently, we are in advanced stages of discussion, but I'm very confident that Bosch will continue to keep Hyderabad at the center of its growth plans. Thank you very much for inviting me. Jai Telangana. Jai Hind.